more and more of a prevalent player as time has gone on and has really sort of come into his own as a, as a player in the last couple months. Yeah, I'm super impressed every time I see Kamex uh, grow further and further, become more and more of a threat. And this is one of those, I mean, Rob is increasingly, it has been prevalent in the metagame for a yes. good long while. And while Rob mains can be certainly the pessimistic bunch, they do agree, as well as with other Sonic mains, that Sonic definitely has an advantage in a matchup like this. They are, by able to control the ground, you're not as threatened by things like gyro. Laser is almost a non-factor. And the combo the combo potential that comics, not only comics, but also Sonic has available to them can leave Rob wishing. Yeah, and the, the thing in this match that's really rather big is that um, Rob, Rob, like gyro covers so much uh, of, of, the, of the floor. So Sonic does have to go on more inconvenient routes. You see right there, Sonic has to jump over uh, Gyro, kind of be a little bit more patient in the approach rather than just utilize the full stage. Um, and Dilgan getting a little bit of damage right there off of that uh, forward tilt, uh, forward air, down air, or forward air, down to forward air. Nice. And that Nair is so good at intercepting the, um, the spin dash in. Huge hitbox on that. Yeah, Doden doing a great job of just outspacing comics in so many of these situations. Whether it be with drifts, uh, drifts or dashes away, they're always putting themselves in a position where she can react to, uh, react to the spin charge, react to the jump in. Like it's, it's been Dill utilizing the well, the size of Rob's hitboxes rather than the size of the hurt box. Yeah, and Sonic's recovery, despite being you know very good, um, is, is a little bit linear at times. So. Uh, Dill taking full advantage there, utilizing the gyro, going to be able to take that uh, stock, and Dill will start this game up uh, by a full stock. But Ooh. a little bit of Misty Eye is going to cost her that stock there, and yeah. it's going to be a full tie game once more. It's such a hard uh, position to be in because you can, you can, when the cross up exists, go to uh, go to try and challenge Comics straight above them. Sonic oftentimes lingering there, but Comics doing amazing counterplay for that. Already drifting forward and finding that back air and the stock in turn. Though Dill has a game plan that has been consistently working in this game. So it's going to be on comics in order to find and abuse more of those openings instead of just waiting for Dill to mess up. All right. We are in the position right now where both players uh, simply have to stay away from each other. As mentioned, Sonic's sort of burst range does make it really difficult for Rob uh, to really get that game plan going. Uh, throwing those projectiles does put Rob in a position where if Sonic jumps over them, Sonic gets in a really good position to just continue pressure. And right now, they're kind of just having to stay at distance. Although, a misplay right there. Missed uh, B reversal on the down B from Dill is going to cost her uh, that advantage state. And neutral right now in the favor of Kamex. But up air not going to be able to take the stop yet. Yeah, there, there's that up air that got, uh, got her killed last time. Ends up working out this second as the neutral comes down to catch the air dodge. Kamex taking on... Both players are really taking damage, but, knows, but both of them seem to know when to take their licks in order to just be boosted back to center. And there's the catch on the second spin dash. Uh, without the sp uh, without that double jump, the spin dash is a sitting duck in midair and Rob's big arm will close out the stop. Though low profile underneath that neutral air in order to find a spin charge, solid damage off of the laser. And that's great recognition right there from Dill. Um, knowing that uh, Sonic homing attack does put him in a bunch of lag, knows that Rob is not fast enough to get all the way across the stage, just goes for a laser punish, get a little bit of damage. These gyros, just the gyro toss while lingering it, while when it lingers there, it's not too much of a threat. The toss itself has been so good and Dill picking her spot super well. The same thing can be said for comics as they find a fully charged in back air. I like the idea of the trap, but the getup attack gets right through it. Comics seems very prone to go for these getup attacks just as much as they are to hunt for these juggle scenarios. More of the same coming out from comics, but Dilt fighting back all the same with these down tilts, using them on the platform and on the ground just to give comics a little bit of a pause before they unleash. And, you're, and you're, what you're seeing really is that um, comics is being forced to mix up quite a bit from ledge, from disadvantage in general, and Dilt's kind of catching on to that disadvantage quite a bit. Um, really not giving uh, cameras a whole lot of ground to mess up at all, to make any of those mistakes. Okay, a little bit of a mistake coming out there from Dill. Does not cluster too badly. Does lose uh, advantage, has to go back into neutral. Jeez Louise. 
Yeah, that could have been very dangerous as Comics finds a back air, mixing up of what they're hunting for in these mid uh, mid air scenarios on going air to air with Dill, but the neutral air almost takes the stock. No grab coming out, Dill instead choosing just to reset neutral and get out of there. The low profile on the landing, ducked under the gyro, that was huge! As Comics is just now in full stage and on PS2, you can run back and forth, up and down and all around with some of the spin dashes. Oh, that's so big, no jump. Oh! Oh, oh not back though. Yeah, the counterplay was there, but the distance was not. Comex falling in a very, very close one as what spacing from Dill just to get it to bounce ever so slightly off stage and cover that exact, uh, the vertical uh, the vertical recovery from uh, Sonic. Uh, if you're able to force Sonic into a situation where they have to spring back to ledge, it's a win. Yeah, Gyro just covers so, so much space there. And obviously, because Dill shot it forward, they have the um, knockback of that move sends on the direction that Dill was facing. So, uh, really not a whole lot of that kind of could do there. Um, no way that he could have the stage. So, just unfortunately for him, going to be forced off stage there. And Dill, Rob Sideby, covers so many options there. Didn't really have a chance to get back to the stage. Yeah, but we're running it straight back. Pokemon Stadium is online. Of course, the banning of uh, FD and Town and City leaves two of these wide stages open for Kamex, but they're choosing just to keep it comfortable, keep it cozy on Pokemon Stadium. And starting off with a lot more of a, a forced scramble scenarios over and over from Comics. Just trying to get in and try and wow. make Dill uncomfortable, but the Z-Drop Gyro keeps the coverage online. On top of that ambiguous cross-up, uh, or rather ambiguous non-cross-up, Dill is on point with her advantage and on her offense, but you gotta be careful as the spring comes in. Wow. Choosing to go low, but the spring keeps on the coverage. They just covered so much that that up there beating out the Nair. The hitbox not uh, below uh, Dill there. And right now, Dill in a position where the stock could be lost. We are resetting right back to neutral. Ooh, that back air. A lot of that back has been so valuable for Kamex. Every stock thus far that Kamex has taken has been with uh, Rob, uh, or rather Sonic back air. Nice. And that right there, I want to point out, is just knowing how to play against Dill specifically. Um, Dill absolutely has great mix-ups from the ledge. What Dill does a lot, though, is Dill will get to a certain range where uh, she can jump onto ledge after a being. Uh, she always saves her jump uh, through a B, and Kamek recognizes the situation. Ethel did got to stop for it. And Kamex not only outspacing is that uh, individual mix-up Dill loves to go for, but also many of these landing callouts as well are just perfectly spaced around Rob Neutralair, but without a jump and committing to the spin dash, you're not able to get out of that at for free. Comics unfortunately drop into the SD, but with a B-reverse homing attack into a back air, they're feeling pretty good when it comes to landing. Uh, landing moves on Rob, though the gyro has been uh, proving to be a, just a little bit of a thorn in Kamex's side. Ooh. And then they're covering so much space right there on the Lud's Trap. Ooh. Wow, and such a great cross-up coming out from Kamex. Uh, so ambiguous. Fair? It's not enough just yet. Rob yeah. is super heavy. Not enough rage. Just throwing the spring down. Those arms reaching tall as Dill does in fact grab a ledge, learning her lesson from before. And this is Dill with the Gyro in her pocket. Now can throw that out at any conceivable time. And a Rob with max rage. Always have to be careful about throwing around that jab into the neutral air up there. 34% and the hitboxes keep on coming, intercepting any potential inter uh, attacks from Comex. Though the gyro combo is almost wow, there. And the, combo. Yeah, and the last hit of forward air just enough. And this is a excellent position for um, Kamex here. As soon as you have the lead as Sonic, especially a stock lead like this, you are in an excellent position as Sonic. Most certainly one of the best characters to lead in the game. It forces you to play his game. Uh, Kamex though taking a little bit more of an aggressive route. That's gonna poke. Uh, maybe she'll drop, but now without jump. Ooh. Oh, a miss. I, I wonder if that was ledge drop back air I think instead. it was. Yeah, the get up attack uh, coming out. Just a little bit off timing with uh, the with the input. That time the shield is going to be angled slightly upward, and whether it be a poke or not, Comics gets a ledge trap situation under folding. That forward smash is so is good. Very little gas. 
There is no gas. Okay, but Dill is going to get advantage here and be able to take the stock with Dumper up there. Sonic all gas into that blast zone and all gas in forward right off of the right off of Halo, immediately going for homing attack and Comics never seems interested in a timeout. They're always looking to try and whip punish to the very end with Sonic and these dash attacks for full stage cross ups covering so much space all of the time. Got to be careful with some of these jump callouts, though. Dill realizing some of Comics' escape options. Oh, this is no resources. Did they land? They did not, but they do get to ledge. This is the situation here. Oh, but the, unable to do the full combo there just because Dill grabs Gyro with the up tilt, not allowing to do, uh, them to do up tilt up air. So the turnaround from that entire uh, repeatable scenario just so beneficial for Dill. As the uh, the B reverse up B or the turnaround up B into the back air keeps uh, once again comics choosing the offensive route and getting rewarded for it, 120 to 146. But if you're uh, comics here, you have to be careful of any grab. You can't afford to shield for too long. Keep mobile and keep safe falling out of the spin charge. And yeah, and on on shield you cannot punish that move. Um, if, it, if it if it whiffs on your shield, then you absolutely can. Ooh, geez, and crazy similar situation to last game. Both players that absolute last hit. Anything will really do it from either of them. Nair is not one of them, though. Not quite enough. Nair down again. Oh, and the read. Sour back air. Laser. Everything is being thrown at comics, but they're still surviving with a mixture of great DI and just enough positioning. But you can't charge there forever. Sonic cannot sure. shield out of the charge. Thank this is not Lord. Smash 4. Thank, Thank God. Lord. Thank the Lord, because that would have been... that. Well, that is broken. Okay, I just, like, you have so much time to react to this. Like, say, you're in the middle of spin dash. You don't have to shield, okay? But, you know, Dill's shielding. Dot, now, if it was just a full hop, I get it. But Dill double jumps all the way up. Look at how focused he is, by the way. <laughs> Double jumps all the way up, and then comes down with an air. I guess yeah, you, you could have gone for the move. You could have done jump down air shield. You... Yeah. How little can you commit? But comics full sended it at the various position Sonic. where they shouldn't have. Sonic player is gonna Sonic player. Sometimes it, the spin dash is just too. Yeah, a little bit of tunnel vision there at the very end. As comics was. Comics was dialed in, which is yes, killing me. Like, for, the, for that whole uh, first part of that set. But then just like, yeah, I mean, we had a full, you know, stock lead, 48% only. Uh, this was a big turnaround. Not uh, catching that no gas rob and allowing Dill to get stock was a really kind of big turning point. You can sort of see it on Dill. Yeah. But yeah, um, that's going to be that for um, Dill versus Kamex. We're moving on to our next winner's quarter set here in just one second. Yeah, you are Costa. Yeah. And you right. are, of course, uh, joined by Munel and UB UBL or is it Ubol? Ubol, UBL. Either works. UBL. <laughs>